Here's a tweet. What feminist Rachel said two years ago. I'm sick to fucking death of hearing of how everything fucking hurts trans people's feelings and how I'm obliged to erase myself and my reality, constantly police my speech and have it policed for me and walk on eggshells to center their narcissistic fragility. I'm sick to fucking death hearing that trans people are the most oppressed people in the entire world. Affluent Western white men in their 30s, 40s, 50s wearing dresses are not fucking oppressed at all let alone more than poor black and brown girls in the developing world. I'm sick to fucking death hearing that trans women being told that they can't get their dicks out in places where women and girls are vulnerable is denying them rights and the worst possible hardship any human has ever faced. If that's the worst you've ever faced, you are privileged, not oppressed. I'm sick to fucking death of women being asked to prove that vast numbers of us are in peril of brutal rape and death for our objections to sharing private spaces with males to be considered valid, and anything short of that being seen as an acceptable price to validate. I'm sick to fucking death of hearing that trans women are women, even if they take no hormones, have no surgery, see no doctors, get no diagnosis, experience no dysphoria, and keep their beards. But when we ask questions, suddenly all the trans women will kill themselves from triggered dysphoria. I'm sick to fucking death hearing that women talking about surviving male violence are weaponizing their trauma against trans people when the entire trans movement is founded on the weaponized trauma of their supposed dysphoria and emotional blackmail. I'm sick to fucking death of hearing no one's saying sex isn't real and sex and gender are different while being told there's no such thing as a biological female. Women have dicks, males have periods and get cervical cancer. A clitoris is just a small penis. I'm sick to fucking death of hearing how hard it is to be trans when every politician, mainstream media outlet, corporation, charity, and celebrity is in the thrall of trans ideology, while women who say humans can't change sex are vilified, doxxed, fired, and otherwise cancelled. I'm sick to fucking death of hearing that endometriosis, menstruation, miscarriage, abortion, street harassment, sexual objectification, and unpaid domestic labor are examples of cis privilege. I'm sick to fucking death of being told that women and girls who dare to set boundaries are hateful bigots, that men are entitled to decide whether our boundaries are justified and whether they will be granted, and that straight dysphoric men are entitled to sex from lesbians. I'm sick to fucking death of white people with BLM in their bios saying women who say humans can't change sex are the same as Nazis and white supremacists, while also saying that black women are indistinguishable from dysphoric men. I'm sick to fucking death of being told that humans can't change sex is the epitome of violent hatred, but choke on my fat lady cock, turf cunt, kill turfs, turfs get raped with my barbed wire baseball bat, are considered justifiable, if not downright righteous. I'm sick to fucking death of hearing that injured male pride is a catastrophic violation of human rights that must be avoided at all costs, up to and including the sacrifice of female bodies. But female rights and trauma are at best irrelevant. Sick to fucking death.